This video is sponsored by PCV Gogo. In this video, we will learn how we can make low-rapist geofencing system using these customized boards. Earlier, we made geofencing using ESP8266 and GPS module, but Wi-Fi connection is not available everywhere. So we decided to make the similar project based on LoRa technology. For the geofencing part, we have made a virtual fence using the point-on polygon algorithm. This helps us to set a virtual fence and detect whether the target is within the fence or outside the fence. The target location can be observed in an AJAX based web server dashboard. We have tested our LoRa based hardware, both outside and inside. It works perfectly well everywhere. The LoRa transmitter retrieves the GPS coordinates from the satellite system and transmits them to the receiver. The receiver on the other hand parses the data and uploads it to the web server. I have designed the fully functional PCB for both boards, which are low power and power optimized. So let's get started and learn how we can make our own LoRa based geofencing project. Now let's take a look at the components required for this project. For the transmitter part, we used 80 mega 328 microcontroller with an Arduino bootloader. For the receiver part, we used ESV8266 Wi-Fi module. Since the project uses LoRa technology, we used low power and the most popular LoRa chip. As we are in Canada, so we used LoRa module SX1276, which supports both 868 and 915 MHz frequency bands. Similarly, for GPS part, we used GPS module Alert 0 from Quicktail which has an embedded patch antenna and works perfectly in receiving satellite signals. The device is operated by a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. To charge the lithium ion battery, we used a BMS and battery charging IC MCP73831 from Microchip. The entire circuit operates at 3.3 volt, hence we used an LDO SD7333 from Holtec. All other components like register, capacitors, and LED are having 0805 SMD package. The bill of materials with purchase link is shared in the website article. Here is a complete schematic for the transmitter part designed using the EGDA software. It has an 80 mega 328 microcontroller, LoRa module SX1276, LED0 GPS module. Battery charging IC and LDO. The AD Mega 38 can be programmed using the FTDI module. All the design calculations are calculated and tested, so the circuit works 100% is fine. I have designed the custom PCB for this schematic. All the components are perfectly placed and are easy to assemble at home. This is the 3D view of the transmitter circuit. I have added the GOBA file for this in the website article, you can download it. Similarly, this is the complete schematic of this receiver part. It has ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, LoRa module, SX1276, battery charging IC and LDO. The circuit has an automatic programmer and hence you don't need to press any buttons while programming using the FTDI module. I converted this schematic to the custom PCB. The custom PCB is compact and looks awesome. This is the 3D view of the custom PCB designed for this application. You can download the GOVA file for this PCB as well. It is time to order the PCB. So I visited PCB Gogo, which is the official sponsor of this video as well. You can get your trial PCB for only $1 here. I uploaded the GOVA file and filled in the details like material types, dimensions, quantity, thickness, solder mass color, and all other required parameters. And then I clicked on a quote now. Here you see the price has gone to $0. You just need to pay shipping charges. 
Now add to the cart and place order. Now after 5 days I received this PCB. Look at this PCB quality. It is very premium and has a perfect design for my project. If you want to order trial PCB for free, check the first link in the description. Now it is time to solder all the components on this transmitter PCB board. I picked all my components first. Then using my microscope, I placed solder paste on the PCB pad. Then I placed all the components one by one. First, I solder all the assembly components like resistors, capacitors, transistors, LED, push buttons and micro USB port. After soldering all this, I can solder the 80 mega 3 2 8 chip. Then I soldered the LoRa module and the GPS module. Finally, I soldered the true hole components like the crystal oscillator, battery connector, switch and female headers pins. Finally, the transmitter is ready. It is time to solder all components on receiver PCB. I picked the necessary components again. Then using my microscope, I placed solder paste on the PCB pad. Then I placed all the components on one by one. I soldered all the assembly components like resistors, capacitors, transistors, LED, push buttons and micro USB ports. After soldering all these, I soldered the ESP8266 raw chip and LoRa module SX1276. Then I soldered the battery connector, switch and male header spin. Finally, the receiver is also ready. To power the both transmitter and receiver circuit, use a 3.7 volt lithium and battery. The hardware part is completed now, so we need to move to the coding part. We have two sets of cords here one for transmitter and the other one for receiver. In the transmitter cord, first add tiny GPS and LoRa library. This is the most important part of this project. Here you need to set up the GPS GEO fencing coordinate. I have used 10 sets of points. Open Google map in web browser and just look at the area where you want to set the fence. Click on the points and here you will get the latitude and longitude. Copy it and paste it in this line. We need to do the same thing for 10 different points in polygon. I am setting this rectangular boundary. Therefore, I copied all the 10 points and pasted in the code. While moving ahead, you can see the GPS module is retrieving the GPS coordinates and sending it to the receiver using the LoRa. In the function part, we have used point-in-point -point algorithm to calculate the object location in a boundary or fence. The details about this algorithm is explained in the website article. To upload the code, connect the FTDI module to this female header. The FTDI directly fits here. From the board manager, select Arduino Nano and Comport and hit the upload button to upload the code. This is the code for the receiver. In this code, the LoRa will receive the message from the transmitter and then purchase the GPS data. In the setup section, the ESP8266 will broadcast the access point. The remaining part of the code will receive the data and send it to the web server. 
In this function, we have used CSS and HTML to create a web page that looks dynamic. Also, the data is loaded dynamically and you don't need to refresh the page all the time to get the new data. To upload the code, connect the FGDI module using the jumper wires. From the board manager list, select the node MCU 1.0 board and upload the code. After uploading the code, you may open serial monitor on the transmitter end. You will see the latitude, longitude and inside-outside status of target. In the receiver part, the IP address will be broadcasted and the receiver will show the same data of latitude, longitude and target inside-outside status. To check the web server data, connect your phone or laptop to the access point broadcasted by ESP8266. Then go to the address 192.168.4.1. Here is the web page displayed. It looks beautiful and very convincing. Now the hardware is communicating with each other. Therefore, we can take the device for outdoor testing. To test outdoor, I called my friend. My friend is having a transmitter with him. He will move forward this boundary with the transmitter in his hand. First, power the transmitter using the switch. On the other side, the receiver can be kept at home. Power on the receiver as well and now open your phone Wi-Fi and here you can see the access point called LoRa receiver. Therefore, connect to it. Once connected, open the web page with the same IP address. The web page will show the inside-outside uh, status. Currently, it's showing outside status as my friend is outside the boundary. So let him move and I'll be observing the status from my dashboard. So you can see, as he moved away, the outside status changed to inside. Let him move away more further so that I can keep observing the status. To test it in more better way, you can open Google Map and the web page in split screen mode. Now, keeping the receiver in your hand, you can move with your friend. The map is showing the location and the web page is showing the data. When he moved outside the boundary, the outside data is shown here. While shifting inside, the data value changed to inside. Perfect job. You can use this system to track your pets at home. That's all from the project part today. All the information related to the project like bill of materials, schematic, PCV, cover files and source code can be found on the How to Electronics website article. You may order PCV online from PCV Gogo at $1 only. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.